Welcome back to Virtual Classroom. My name is Brandon. I am the co-owner of Stingers and Scales. In our last episode, we talked about chinchillas. And I mentioned that our next guest would also be covered in fur like the chinchillas. On this episode, we're going to be talking about the Arizona Blonde Tarantula. Instead of holding up the jar the whole time, I'm just going to voice over some footage of her. The Arizona Blonde Tarantula gets its name due to the light brown or tan colored hairs on their body. As the name suggests, Arizona Blonde Tarantulas are from Arizona. They're mostly found in southern Arizona, but they also range down into northern Mexico. They grow around 3 to 5 inches long. Males live 5 to 10 years, while females can live up to 30. They live in the desert and grasslands. They are a mildly venomous species. The venom isn't considered lethal to humans. Other than their venomous bite, their main line of defense is by kicking hairs. What they do is they'll use their back legs to kick up hairs off their abdomen. And those hairs will get onto predators' eyes, mouth, nose, or skin, and cause a lot of irritation. Arizona blonde tarantulas are a nocturnal species, meaning they're active at nighttime. They are insectivores, meaning that they eat insects. They are a terrestrial species, meaning that they spend most of their life on the ground. In the wild, they live in burrows, and they'll spread a silk web around the entrance of it, and it works as a tripwire to let them know if there's any insects or potential prey around. In the wintertime, they plug up their burrows with dirt, soil, and silk, and they become inactive, surviving off of fat reserves. They never venture far from their burrows unless it's mating season. They have a large migration in which they search for mates. After mating, the female can lay up to a thousand eggs at a time. Only about 600 of the eggs will hatch, and unfortunately most of the babies won't make it to adulthood. The main predators of Arizona blonde tarantulas are birds and tarantula hawks. Tarantula hawks are a parasitic wasp species. Arizona blonde tarantulas are still considered common. Their main threat is habitat loss and over-collecting for the pet trade. Not just tarantulas, but any spider species means us no harm. They're not out to get us, and they're not here to do us any harm. All they're trying to do is go on about their day. If you see a spider in the wild, leave it alone. If you see one in your house, safely capture it and take it outside. That way you can continue to serve its purpose in our ecosystem. Spiders help keep the insect population under control, so they're actually doing us a huge favor. And even though they may look scary to some, we can still learn to coexist with them. Like always, thank you for watching this episode of Virtual Classroom. If you have any questions, comments, or cool stories, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And make sure you like and subscribe to keep up with what we're doing. We'll have a new episode of Virtual Classroom out every Monday. And for the month of October, I am going to have a few bonus videos out. So make sure you stay tuned for that. 